know that we just came out of Today in Austin, but my favorite bit of non-news today is this audio of Shaquille O'Neal, former basketball player, now commentator, saying this. What did you make of the Kyrie stuff? I don't... It's, it's true. The, 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 what? Uh, the earth is flat. Shaq, what are you talking about? <laughs> the earth is flat. I drive from coast to coast, and the shit's flat to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, that's I, the dumbest no, thing you've I ever don't. said. I do <laughs> not go up and down in a 360-degree angle and all me? that stuff about gravity. <laughs> Have you looked outside of Atlanta lately and seen all these buildings? So you mean to tell me that uh, China is under us? China's yes. under us. If you, you keep saying they are under us. That's they tell you when you're a kid. The world is if flat. Kill O'Neal is a flat earther. He believes that the earth is flat and uh, who would have imagined the man who thought Kazam was going to be an awesome idea was also a flat earther. And that's where I'm going to leave this story because if you are one of these people that believe the earth is flat, I'm not going to convince you it's not. I think it's important to be skeptical of what we're taught and we're told. I mean, uh, Shaquille O'Neal makes a reference to Christopher Columbus. In school, first thing they teach us is, oh, Columbus. Columbus discovered America, but when he got there, it was some uh, uh, fair-skinned people with the long hair smoking out of peace pipes. So what does that tell you? Mm -hmm. D Columbus didn't discover America. <laughs> and he's right. In school, I was taught Christopher Columbus was essentially a hero. He discovered America. We're here because of him. Good guy. And I got out of school, did research, and found out that he was a crazy, murdering psychopath. Right, but to compare those two scenarios is ridiculous. One is the skewed retelling of history, which, by the way, get rid of fucking Columbus Day. And I'm not trying to make you guys go to school. I keep the day off, but maybe, maybe let's call it something else, because fuck that guy. And the other scenario is just ignoring science. But also, we really shouldn't give any validity to people that make these outrageous claims. I mean, to me, this isn't even the craziest thing a sports player has said in the past year. There's a guy in the NFL called Will Hayes who believes mermaids are real and dinosaurs are fake, that archaeologists have been just hiding these bones. They're lying, it's conspiracy, and they're pushing their pro-dinosaur agenda. So just treat this as your daily reminder that uh, just because a famous person and said something doesn't mean it's true. Cough, cough, Jenny McCarthy, cough, cough. Like if a bunch of scientists were like, this is the only way to escape this disaster. Here's the evidence, come with us. But then B.O.B., Tila Tequila, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, they pull up and they're like, no, the only way to save ourselves is to go this way. And here are some YouTube videos that say we need to go this way. I'm not going with Shaq. Then in internet privacy news, it's